Hello and welcome to Rheumatology for Medical Student and Intern. I am Dr. Win Tran, Assistant Professor of Internal Medicine and Rheumatology at Win Medical Center. Today I have a special guest. Uh, this is Jacqueline Zhang. Hi. Welcome to Rheumatology. Hi, thank you. So Jacqueline, um, can you tell us about yourself? Yeah, so I'm from Southern California and I am currently a medical student at California North State University. Right now, I'm applying for internal medicine residency and hoping to pursue a fellowship in rheumatology. Oh, excellent. That's even better because I, I'm a rheumatologist. So in this video, I will tell you guys about rheumatology and all the common questions that a medical student or intern may have before going to rotations. So let's go ahead with Jackie. Yeah, so why did you decide to go into rheumatology, Dr. Tran? Rheumatology is a subspecialty of internal medicine, and we're dealing with autoimmune disease. When we talk about the immune system, I found this is fascinating, amazing. Our immune system helps us defend infection, cancer, and many other things. Rheumatology is dealing with autoimmune disease. So when the immune system mistakenly attacks our bodies, uh, if the immune system attacks the joint, we have rheumatoid arthritis. If it does attack multiple organs, we may have lupus. So to me, this is a very complex, but also um, amazing process to figure out what it is. And that's why I picked rheumatology. That's great. All right, so um, how about you? Why did you pick this rotation? Yeah, so I picked this rotation because I'm interested in pursuing a fellowship in rheumatology and I wanted to experience what different rotations and different subspecialties were like before deciding on one. Okay, so you did not hear about this rotation as a very chill one, a very easy one. <laughs> no, I had not heard about this rotation before trying it. All right, um, so what is your learning expectation in this rotation? Yeah, so for this rotation, my goal is to learn about common rheumatologic conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and lupus, and also learn how to manage patients with chronic pain. Yes, and actually that's exactly what we're going to um, share with you in the next couple of episodes. We will talk about gout, rheumatoid arthritis, um, every common condition that a medical student or intern should know in rheumatology. You have other question for me? Yeah. What is a typical day like for a rheumatologist? A typical day for rheumatologists um, start around 9 and finish at 5. Uh, we see 20 to 40 patients a day, um, include new consult or follow-up. Depends whether a rheumatologist works in the hospital or outpatient like this clinic, uh, you see more or less patients. Generally speaking, when you see patient here, they healthier, stable, uh, compared to the one in hospital, usually sicker and more severe. What is the pathway like to become a rheumatologist, and how many rheumatologists are there in the U.S.? Oh, let me count, actually. That's very few of us, so that's why we can count. There's about 5,000 rheumatologists in the U.S., and it takes quite a bit to become a rheumatologist. Um, like you right now, it takes about eight years, four years of college, and then four years of medical school. And then you go into three years of residency, internal medicine residency. And after that, you apply again uh, for fellowship, usually two or three years. Now, the fellowship position in the U.S. for this year, we have 249 positions, so very few. Uh, rheumatology, it it's quite competitive to get in with the average step one score at uh, 235 to get in. And then what are some of the challenges you face as a rheumatologist and how has COVID-19 changed? Well, we do have um, a number of challenges in COVID-19, uh, but one of the bigger ones today is, I'm sure you are aware about biologic medications. So those are the newer medication, but very effective. However, they're very costly. And that's why if you are a rheumatologist and you write medication, for example, Himera, and you hope your patient will get by tomorrow, it won't happen. <laughs> because the insurance will uh, find a way to make sure that uh, you try all the medication before you try biologics. So insurance um, 
would be one of the major challenges uh, for rheumatologic patients to get their proper medication. Now, the, the other thing is we deal with a lot of sicker and more severe uh, rheumatologic conditions nowadays compared to many years ago. Because we don't have enough rheumatologists. I just told you we have about 5,000. And the number of retiring rheumatologists is almost equal to the newer coming out. COVID-19 does make an impact. You can see that our volumes, patient here, also decrease. But also we switch a lot of patients to telemedicine. But for rheumatology, in fact, somehow you need to see the patient. You feel the joy. You can examine the patient in real person in order to make the correct diagnosis. So those are the, some of the few challenging that we are facing at the moment. All right, anything else? No, I don't think so. All right, so next time we're going to talk about all the uh, common cases in rheumatology that every student or intern should know. Thank you. Thank you.